Hello, pool players around here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel, and thank you very much for watching, everyone. Something special happened yesterday during my eight ball practice session, and I wanted to share this with you. I'm going to show you yesterday's session. I had the camera running when I pulled this off, but I'm also going to try to reenact this right now to see if I can do it again. Then after you see yesterday's video, I'm going to share with you a practice exercise that works really good for this type shot. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm not going to even explain. I'm just going to pull it off here. A picture's worth a thousand words. A video's worth 10,000. So that's it. Let's take a look at yesterday's session and then let's look at an exercise that'll help you make this type breakout. What I'm showing you here is that I'm looking at a spot where I can put the cue ball so that I can have the correct angle into the second shot to play a spinner so I can come back in and clip that red ball to knock the eight out in front of the side pocket. Just a simple stop shot. And now I have the right angle. The exercise that I'm going to show you after this is going to be extremely important for you guys for breakout shots, but also position play. I hit the perfect speed here. The eight ball came right out in front, just as I pictured it in my mind. So now let's take a look after this shot at our exercise. Okay, pool players, what have I done here? We marked both the cue ball and the object ball location. We're gonna be pocketing the object ball in the side pocket. We're gonna to try to hit this red ball with the cue ball by going off to this cushion and coming back and hitting it full. Where the second shot is gonna be down to the second diamond and the third shot is gonna be down to the third diamond or first diamond from corner. So let's see if we can do this. This is great. This exercise is gonna teach you how to play position because it's gonna give you the feedback as to what happens when the cue ball is spinning and it hits the first cushion after it hits an object ball. Great exercise. Okay, we hit the first one. Hit a little rail first there. I try to hit them full, but that's okay. All part of the process. Now we're gonna move down to this location. Second diamond. A little more spin this time. Rail first again. So my feedback is that I'm hitting too much spin. That's good. It's all about the process, right? So now let's go to the third one. The third one is the most difficult. It requires a lot of spin. I'm talking myself into spin, aren't I? <laughs> got to thin this in too. I can't hit it too full or it'll stun away from my red ball or from the point on the cushion where I got to have the spin hit. Perfect. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Hit right on the ball. Do you see the power of this? Let's see if I can hit one of these one more time. Let's see if I can hit it more full. I'm going to make my adjustment this time. I still hit rail first a little bit. Powerful exercise. You guys got to do this. It's gonna help you in your game big time. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I answer everyone. Thanks for watching, and once again, like I always say, keep on practicing.